Okay, once you have your pattern pieces cut out, and whether you use my pattern or one that you've bought, to make the baby boots, this is pretty much the way that you would do it. Or this is at least the order that I do it in. You're going to take your piece your, that you already have cut out. Your back. This is the back part of the boot, and this is the toe part. So what I do is just line them up here, and then you're just going to put it in your sewing machine and stitch it all the way around to that opening here until you get to the other side. Make sure when you're sewing the toe part of the boot to the front that you have a really smooth curve. Otherwise, like I did with this one, I missed the curve a little bit. So it's a little hard to make the mistake. I could pull all these stitches out, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just cover that up with some flowers or some lace. That'll be fine. But make sure when you attach the uh, top part to the toe part that you have a very smooth oval shaped curve all the way around. Okay, as you can see, this um, Sherpa suede fabric, which has this fuzzy side and then the suede side on, you know, the opposite side. Um, stitching my two right sides together. And because this fabric is really thick, make sure your sewing machine can handle it and make sure you go slow. I'm not using pens because I can just turn pretty much as I go. And sometimes you've got to give it a little tug to kind of keep it moving. I also suggest that you use a zigzag stitch to really keep this together. Sometimes it's gonna pucker and buckle, but you can you can get it through there, I'm sure. Okay, just turn that up. Okay, now you can see how we have it all stitched together. Um, there's a couple of reasons I'm using two different colors of fabric. Um, number one, I ran out of Sherpa suede. Um, and number two, I do think it'll be easier for you to kind of see what the process is. Okay, so I've got the toe attached to what's essentially going to be the back part. And now I'm going to stitch these two seams, back seams, together. And then we'll attach it to the heel, por the sole portion of the boot. Okay, now you can see we've stitched, I've stitched the back of the boot closed. And then I'm just going to put, this is the top part of the sole. So once again, remember, right sides together. And if you just set it on top, you'll see your boot starting to take shape, your booty starting to take shape. Now, I am going to pin this down because, once again, this is really thick fabric and it's going to scoot around. Um, and I want to make sure I keep the actual shape of the boot. I know it looks like a lump right now, but you'll see. It comes out really cute. Okay, as you can see, I've pinned it down the sole to the upper portion of the boot. Um, if you'll notice my pattern, I actually do cut it a little bit larger than is typical for a baby size foot. It's so that you can adjust the hem accordingly. And also, sometimes in cutting this really thick fabric, you might go off course a little bit. So you can just trim it up and even it so it's even all the way around. Now let me caution you. Uh, make sure your sewing machine can handle this thickness. This, it, it's, it's bunchy and it's not like sewing leather per se, but this can mess up your sewing machine. Um, I actually, because when I started making these booties, I specifically went and purchased a sewing machine and made sure with the salesperson that it could handle this thickness. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got it all stitched up. I'm just going to take these pins out. And you also need to make sure when before you turn this inside out or try it on a baby that you cut off all these little excess 
threads you know just give it a really good little trim because you don't want these threads getting caught around a baby's little toe and you know bad things can happen baby will be real uncomfortable booties will look cute but your baby will be crying their little head off so do all your trimming now and like I said you really might want to make sure uh, you use a zigzag stitch to keep this together and let's see I think I've trimmed it up pretty well here and got a little excess um, I'll probably do a couple more trims on this on the inside before I finish and here on the back seam now these boots are super super soft on the inside and obviously these are warm weather boots what is that in there okay well something sticking remember double and triple quadruple check and get all the extra little threads out from your baby boot okay so now it's time to just flip it inside out and we hope and you know you want to do shaping it with your fingers while you're got them in there and let's see what we got ta-da we got a baby boot Ooh, looks like a little duck bill but it's a little tiny baby boot Ooh, isn't that cute so that was easy huh so I hope you enjoy making your own baby boots um have fun with it yes I know mine curved over a little bit because I was doing this really fast but I'm sure yours will be fine and see even if you mess up a little bit I'll just flip this back inside out and correct that so I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make a baby boot enjoy and as you can see now we're all done with our quick and easy baby boots um, I used a zigzag stitch here so on this seam on this one, and that's why you see a little bit of the white. But it doesn't bother me so much. Um, you can, of course, do yours whatever way um, you see fit. And ta-da! It's just that easy. So feel free, and I hope you do, post pictures of any baby booties, shoes, boots that you make on my Facebook page because I love to see what what you make. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.